For breaking news, we are given to understand now that Prime Minister Narendra Modi remains the leader with the highest approval rating at the global approval ratings after the G20 summit which India hosted as president. Remember, the latest approval ratings are based on data that's been collected from September 6th to 12th this year. And these are based on seven-day moving average of adult residents in every country. My colleague Payal is with us on the broadcast. Payal, uh, we just uh, broke down for our viewers what these ratings are all about. Narendra Modi continues to be number one. Well, uh, another feather in the cap as far as India is concerned after the successful run of the G20 and the successful summit that we really saw the world appreciate and the premises at number one with a whopping 76% rating. Of course, alongside him are other world leaders, you know, who have a lower rating than him, whether it is Joe Biden, whether it is Rishi Surak mm. or Mr. Albanese, who is the, who's the Prime Minister of uh, uh, Australia. So, obviously, the, the, the Indian uh, presidency has reaped huge benefits, not only in, be, in being able to get the kind of... Uh, Cooperation that it was able to get in 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 in, in uh, you know in terms of uh, the uh, the the agenda which is there as well, but obviously the kind of uh, uh, you know red carpet that India laid forth as far as these world leaders were concerned, they took back with them happy memories. They took back with them a lot of goodies of Indian culture. But you know, of course, the whole theme of the cul uh, the whole theme of India's presidency, which is uh, one country, uh, beg your pardon, it is like you know Vasudev Kutumbakam was hugely appreciated. So it is probably one earth, one world, and one family. And one future is what the Prime Minister has been speaking about. So it's a huge thing uh, to be able to get this kind of a rating that Prime Minister Narendra Modi was able to get uh, in the ratings that have recently been uh, put out. Right, Payal, how accurate are these ratings and uh, what is the kind of data that's been collected, the kind of questionnaire that is uh, sent out to people to get the numbers on board for the global approval rating? Well, uh, these are ratings in which you've seen the ratings come out for various uh, leaders, not just India as well. So obviously we are looking at uh, the details that have been put out and essentially these are adult uh, 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 people who've been uh, asked these questions across uh, across all these countries as well. There is of course a detailed procedure which has been followed to get these uh, ratings and these are ratings for this one week. And remember India hosted the G20 summit from 6th, uh, from, from 8th to 10th of uh, September in the national capital as well. We saw the kind of our leadership that really came and you know a lot of people had come out and said that you know this was probably one of the best summits that in that the world has seen in all these years as well and india was able to get even the uh, the uh, african union on board and then and then make it into uh, you know g21 from here on as well so that's the kind of an approval rating that premises uh, got for being able to do that and successfully have the g20 happen in india mm -hmm. uh, you know over the last nine months having uh, meetings across the country in over 60 uh, uh, cities and towns and over 200 meetings have also been held so far. Right. And Pail, let's also talk about the detractors. Uh, there's always a debate whether these uh, are an accurate reflection of success for any leader and how the opposition has been attacking Prime Minister Narendra Modi on going uh, on a celebratory stance, uh, especially after the G20 summit, in, even in the wake of what has happened in Anant Nag and how we've lost our brave hearts. Well, the opposition parties have obviously been questioning the government because the government has always been speaking about the fact that you know you have to keep the security forces first. But this was a uh, this was a uh, this was a gathering which was actually put forth uh, by the BJP workers. In particular, the prime minister just quietly came. He acknowledged uh, their uh, he acknowledged their uh, sort of uh, respect for him, and he just walked inside the uh, BJP CEC meetings. Mm -hmm. Normally, when you know when such a gathering is held at the party headquarters, you always see the prime minister come out. And really speak, he are you or see him acknowledging and, and, and addressing the crowd, but that did not really take place because the government also understands the seriousness of this matter. Mm -hmm. And the government has come out and really said that nobody will be spared, anybody who bleeds India will not be spared, and will have to play back with their blood. All right, uh, Pail, thank you so much for joining us on the broadcast. We also have Robinder Sachdev who's joining us uh, on the broadcast, foreign affairs expert. Uh, Mr. Sachdev, thank you so much, first of all, for being a part of this discussion. Now, we're given to understand that Prime Minister Narendra Modi is the leader of choice and he in fact holds the highest position as far as the global approval ratings are concerned. His position is at a whopping 76% with only about 14% uh, of the people who disapprove of, uh, of him as a world leader. Where do you see India headed with this kind of a rating? Thank you so much. So definitely, you know, India is India. Innovation sunrise movement for India and India is making, uh, you know, needs of the world for the size of its economy, the growth, it is a growth of such a large 
number of people when you multiply it by the economy growth rate hmm. so india is definitely making the world and of course you know our morning consult has earlier also among the bits you know approval numbers for world leaders hmm. but with g20 without a doubt you know prime minister modi uh, has popularity of you know awareness about prime minister modi has i think spread much more of the world over and linked to it is obviously his popularity so definitely a good talk in the for india to be celebrated Mr Sachdev the fact that there has always been a debate about such day ratings and how accurate uh, of a depiction uh, are these ratings uh, uh, you know talking or denoting the success of a leader or in turn the country that he comes from when we talk about how are these numbers really arrived at we do understand that there is a poll that is given out to various agencies and there is uh, uh, the people of of uh, various places in the world they in fact put out their uh, uh, their liking or dislike for a world leader i would like to understand would you wade into this debate of uh, whether it is accurate or not or do you think this is an apt enough stamp for brand narendra modi a great question absolutely i think there are both sides to the coin that you say absolutely yes i mean there can be criticisms of such you know polls it around there the fact is that you see any polling agency has to go with random sampling right mm-hmm. uh, what is the sample size now the point is that for a global survey i'm understandable no agency is going to be able to you know poll millions or billions of people right so what at best they do is that they pick a number of people as and who sample across the countries and then the polling agency through its you know whatever the model it has is predicting that the sample size which is has taken and not only the sample size the variety of it within the sample they have to be people of different background different age group different you know economic strata social background etc etc hmm. so the agency put it up that the the sample size and the sample methodology which it follows even if let's say 10000 numbers of people is fairly you know it's fairly representative of what the overall opinion could be so right. there are both sides to it you are absolutely mm-hmm. right but still you know no, no other agency is doing maybe such large sampling which will be the test of also so and then there are very few agencies who are doing this kind of a survey that's another yes. thing yes. right tomorrow maybe if there is some you know this is morning concert is something so the and comes out with some numbers that is to be seen but as of now morning consult seems to be mm. quite a credible organization mm. and coming out with these numbers even a small sample size is just see the you know pretty representative right thank you so much mr sachdev for joining us on the broadcast and on that note we are slipping into a very short break and coming right back with lots more that's in store for you on cnn news 18